This is the machine that court reporters use in a courtroom to type out everything that is said in the courtroom. It is currently plugged into my laptop, so basically everything that I type goes in here and gets translated. This is the initial side of the keyboard, so it's like starting letters, these are vowels, and this is the final side, so like finishing letters, and this is an asterisk. When I put in an asterisk, it deletes the word that was above it. To type on it, you have to push down the keys at the same time, so I'm going to spell the word girl. So that spells girl, so it went in there, and then it translated it to girl. If I wanted to spell the word zoo, for instance, I'd push these down at the same time and it translates in here to zoo. Long story short, it just takes too long. Stenographers push down multiple keys at the same time to spell one word with each stroke. So this was just me key smashing. That was six strokes, so that would be six words. So stenographers can write 225 words a minute. So when there's multiple people talking in court, they can keep up with that too. So now I have to ask, how many words per minute can you type? Today I'm going to show you guys what letter corresponds to each key. So this is the initial side. This key is S, T, P, H, and this is also S, K, W, R. These four keys are the vowels. The vowels they have are A, O, E, and U. So this is the final side of the keyboard. This is F, P, L, T, D, R, B, G, S, Z. This whole middle key here is an asterisk. You may have noticed that this doesn't include every letter in the alphabet. To get every letter in the alphabet, we have to use a combination of keys. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. You can't do the full alphabet with the final side of the keyboard, but you can do B, D, F, G, J, K, L, M, N, P, R, S, T, V, X, Z. Here is a visual representation. Long story short, no, and here's why. Court reporters can indicate between speakers, they can read back what was just said, and they can also understand accents pretty well. Software available to us right now just isn't close enough to being 100% accurate in a court of law. Like think about all the times Siri has misheard you. There isn't much room for error in a court. Also imagine if there was a loud sneeze or cough in the courtroom. This could mess up any software or audio recording you have. Whereas a court reporter isn't confused about who's speaking and what a cough is. Also having everything typed out versus an audio or a video recording makes it easier for anyone to go back and reference the transcript almost immediately. There are also other uses for stenography. Real-time captioning is needed for people who are hard of hearing or deaf. Also captioning for movies, shows, anything. One minute isn't nearly enough time to explain this and I'm still a student so I'm still learning too. If I forgot to add something important, please comment and educate me.